All right, hello, welcome to uh, the second production vlog uh, for Chainsaw, a journal of the radical imagination. I am the founding editor and most other things here uh, at the journal, Ryan Cox. And uh, today I want to talk to you about why we're called Chainsaw. This is a question I have been asked surprisingly frequently, including at one pay, uh, point in the um, in the institutional planning portion, where I was getting kind of clearances and things to make or uh, uh, to make the journal happen. Um, one of the questions I, w I was asked, like, why is it called Chainsaw? Is it a forestry journal? And um, I'm not in forestry, so the answer, of course, was no. Um, and part of what I had to explain then was how literary journals tended to be named. If you go and look at um, literary journals throughout, throughout history, or even active, current, successful ones, they all have names that are interesting and ear-catching and eye-catching, but um, don't say... Uh, chock full of poems or stories and essays and such. They don't have names like that. So I had to explain that part. But there's a reason beyond that why why I chose Chainsaw. The uh, th it, it comes from a Weird Al Yankovic song. And it comes from a Weird Al Yankovic song that is arguably my five-year-old's favorite song period. Uh, it comes from the song Dare to be Stupid. The The song's opening line is, put down your, uh, opening two lines is, put down your chainsaw and listen to me, it's time for us to join in the fight. Uh, and then the, the verses close up, uh, or finish out uh, um, towards the end of the song with, the future's up to you, so what you're going to do, dare to be stupid. And that line really, uh, that, that opening line, put down your chainsaw, listen to me, it's time for us to join the fight, really resonated f with me, uh, particular, particularly as I was working out what this would be as a journal or a zine or a object that was concerned with literary and cultural critique. Um, and is admittedly very much influenced by um, kind of anarchist anarchist leanings and anarchist kind of approaches to things and there's no hiding this the whole any I've referred to uh, uh, in documents related to the journal alternative economies more than once so I think that's that cat's out of the bag um, but the idea of joining in the fight is, is kind of important, or that the future's up to you, what are you going to do? Um, the, the need, this as a, as a call to, as a call to action is kind of, kind of, it was, it was kind of beautiful to me, partially for the reason, uh, what kind of song Dare to be Stupid is. Dare to be Stupid isn't a parody. Um, Weird Al Yankovic is very much famous for his parody work. Dare to be Stupid is an original. It's it's kind of an homage to Devo, who is another group I find incredibly inspiring. And and so it was... It, it came together as, this is a work of art commenting on other works of art as well as the culture in which it... Um, the uh, both works of art operate. Um, it is an incredibly incisive bit of cultural critique that, uh, in its own way, it refutes kind of the... No uh, it stands in opposition to the norm. Um, Dare to be stupid is not... Is, Dare to be stupid as a, a, a creed occur is, is not the um, way we typically want to position ourselves. We want to appear intelligent. But intelligence and uh, what is, uh, acceptable forms of art and every, all of these things are very much culturally defined. So daring to be stupid, to do things that are silly or outlandish or 
um, outside of the norm, appealed to me. It's like weakness as strength. Being, acknowledging your weak as being strong, being silly and stupid as an act of resistance is a, is a kind of strength, too. And it opens up possibilities. Um, it opens up possibilities. A kind of transformative or uh, approach to things, or um, looking beyond the norm. I mean, I my critical life, I've studied, I've studied avant-garde poetics for a good chunk of my life, and my current research project, my main research project is framed around professional wrestling. This is, uh, and it's framed around professional wrestling because of poets I read. It's a whole thing. So, the reason, uh, the reason we're called Chainsaw is because I want to think of this as a call to action. Um, a call to action that lies outside of the norm. This is a weird person's call to action. Um, and I'm looking for, I'm looking for other kindred souls who produce these kind of interesting works, who, who make things, who, um, that fall outside the norm and use them to kind of comment on things. So, we're called Chainsaw because of a Weird Al song that sounds like a Devo song. Um, and if you want to constellate how this works and kind of leads to where we're going, I really strongly recommend sitting down and listening to the first four Devo at records and then maybe listening to as much of Weird Al's original material as you can handle, which should be a lot. Uh, I think that explains something about what's going on here. Um, but yeah, that's why we're called chainsaw. Also, chainsaws are noisy and they cut things, which is kind of nice, too. All right, thank you uh, for watching this. I hope it's somewhat informative. Um, probably confusing, but I hope it's somewhat informative. Uh, about what we're doing and why we're doing it. If you are interested in what we're doing, um, please uh, follow us on our social media. Uh, we are at, at ChainsawZine, Z-I-N-E, uh, on both uh, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you will find links on both of these to our webpage, which has our submission guidelines, which um, uh, are finally up, as well as our call for contributors for the upcoming journal, uh, or upcoming issues of the journal. Um, yeah, and I will be back next week-ish um, with more something about what we're doing here. Um, hopefully these are interesting. I I mean, I think it's important to document the process. And thank you for watching me talk awkwardly to a camera. Uh, all right. <laughs>